We have just logged 30 days of every single cent that we spent here living in Portugal. You're probably curious about what cost of living is like, but without knowing what kind of lifestyle that gets you, what good is it? So we'll show you ours. How bad could it be? The year is 2023 and today is day one. We're in Porto. Let's see if inflation has made a big difference. Kaylee and I don't ride the metro and bus enough to have a monthly pass, which depending on what zones you choose, that would be 30 to 40 euros. We top up as we go. A single ride is currently one euro 30 cents for zone two. And if you add 10 trips at a time, you get one free. Valencia is free for her age, but she likes to tap ours. Be sure you validate before riding. All right, it's Sunday, it's a game day, late kickoff. So Kaylee and Sia are not coming with me, but I'm meeting some friends and uh, we're gonna go catch the game. I'll explain how the pricing works. Let's go. You have to be a socio to have a season ticket, but a socio is basically a membership fee. Currently, it's 12 euros per month per adult for a membership fee. And then the season ticket will get you entrance to around 20 matches. There are different pricing levels for a season ticket that range from 115 to over 1,000. This game is included in our seats, but to break things down a bit, we took friends to this one. So for four seats and our fees, it was 70 euros, which we logged on day one since it's more like a monthly fee. And then we have our normal monthly expenses. So currently we pay 750 in rent. This was electric for the month. And then our water bill. We also pay for private health insurance. Then we have tithe and our monthly charitable givings. And a lot of European banks are still a bit antiquated and charge you a fee to have an account with them. Okay, I'm ordering groceries from the comfort of my own house, apparently. Look at my hair. So I do Pingo Dos. They all have it. I can go pretty fast now. It's all in Portuguese, so it's helped my Portuguese. So it took a while at the beginning, but I do a lot of the same orders. So as soon as I finish doing this, I'll let you know how much we How much have you noticed that groceries have gone up in the past year? There's been a slight increase I've noticed. I think where they get you here is you hit 100 euro and you get free delivery. They also do deals and stuff. So for me, sometimes it's hard for me to act actually get to that point and I just do like canned things or things that you know we can just stock away but there's been a slight increase I don't know maybe like 10 cents on something but I've noticed an increase it's not awful though okay I'm done and I paid on MB way it's 109.87 but that could change depending on what they can and can't find and if it's a different brand or something so we'll get the exact bill at drop off how long did it take this one took me closer to 10 minutes just because I had to add a few extra things to get over that 100 euro mark so I was kind of perusing and looking to see what I could find but Sometimes it's only five minutes because I do a repeat order. And when should the groceries arrive? They get here this afternoon, a couple hours. I chose a little later because I have something this afternoon, but I could have had them arrive in about an hour, two hours. We are on the way to a meetup. So I have no idea how much we're gonna spend there, but it's at a hotel. The hotel has fair prices, not uh, like American hotels. And um, yeah, let's let's kind of see how it goes. We'll break it down for you and let you know how much we spent, but we'll also show you the scenes. Let's check it out. We try to host regular meetups in Porto and from time to time in Lisbon. They're open for anyone and everyone. So to stay up to date on when and where those are, you can email us to join our newsletter and then also follow us on Instagram and Facebook. We normally try to find locations with food and drinks, but since this hotel is just open, the restaurant wasn't ready to serve yet. So we just drank and afterwards we grabbed takeaway with friends and ate back at our place. We were invited to hang out at a friend's house, so of course we stopped at the store to pick up a bottle of wine. A few ladies and I get together every two weeks, and this one was at an Asian place called Tamil, and I had curry. I took Valencia to Jumpers, which is a trampoline park in Porto. It's great when the weather is bad. So she played here with a friend. Mommy! What is it? Mommy. Yeah. I met a friend at Letraria, a craft beer place, to grab a few beers and hang out. I went to So Coffee to pick up a bag of beans for home and then grabbed a cup of coffee with a friend. I just top up both mine and Josh's phones on our Millennium app here. 
from time to time we have someone do a deep cleaning of our house. I do not like a clean, so it's well worth the money to have someone else do it and it's super reasonable. Our place isn't too big either, which helps. Sia and I went to a store called Flying Tiger to pick up some items for a school project she had. And while we were doing that, Josh ran to the continent nearby to pick up some snacks because we were having friends over, so snacks are a must. Anti-wrinkle cream. I met a couple friends at a really cool place called Terra Plana where we had lunch and a few drinks. Time to get my rings cleaned and make them nice and shiny by having them replated, which I don't do too often. The last time I did it was before we moved to Portugal. I start day nine with a coffee. Well, much to our surprise, actually, two friends of ours took us out to dinner and they picked up the bill. We ate at Duelo, which is a Mexican restaurant that's nearby us. It was awesome. Like there we shared a bunch of different dishes. They loved it. It was their first time there. So uh, we, dropped, like we dropped the tip. So did you like it, Sia? Yes. Yeah, so we ended up uh, doing the tip, cash tip. 10 euros. Okay, we're at our favorite coffee roaster, So Coffee. I got a batch brew, Josh got a large latte, and we're going to split a chocolate croissant. Total, $7.50. We met friends for lunch at a sushi buffet. We really like this restaurant because you pay a flat rate for your food, and you order at your seats by looking at the menu and writing down the numbers. It's all you can eat, but it's nice because they make it fresh to order. All right, I just made a quick grocery run. Just had to pick up a few things, my bags, and it was 1914. Off to get this cut. I'll see you in just a few seconds. My boy Tiago, 11 euros. You can tip if you want. I like to try to throw him a euro or two to tip. So thanks, Tiago. Great haircut. Appreciate it, man. Well, real life, we realized that we forgot Bunny, this little gift that Sia got when we were in France. And this is who she sleeps with at school. And we forgot Bunny and the school called because Sia was crying Bunny Bunny. So I've got to grab a car and head back to the school. This was a bit of a crazy trip because we decided to go down to Lisbon for a soccer game. We already had plans to go over to Aveiro for the weekend, but a couple of days before, we went to Lisbon first to see our favorite soccer team in the whole world. I took the train with the dog and Kaylee flew with Sia. All right, I've arrived here at Orient. Now I've got to go grab the Metro and uh, yeah, find my way to the hotel. I think I'm just going to do Metro instead of grabbing a car. So let's go. We did a vlog about this, which we'll put in the description when we compare. Is it better to take the train or to fly between Porto and Lisbon? See in that video who made it to the hotel faster. Okay, post-match, Kaylee took Valencia back home. I grabbed some food. Um, I've got basically three dinner items. We stayed at the Mama Shelter in Lisbon where breakfast was included. Now this hotel is quirky and a bit funky, but a really fun place to stay. All right, with our gear, we are taking a car to the train station. So now we're grabbing a train from Lisbon to Aveiro, which is a little over two hours. Watch out for those train strikes though, because trains might be flat out canceled and you don't know until you arrive to the station. All right, just grabbing a coffee and snack because our train was canceled because of the strikes. So we have to take the next one in an hour and a half, just killing some time. Yummy. Now we're in Avera for our weekend trip that was actually planned. We came at a shoot and get content for our city guide of Avera, which we'll put that in the description as well. Okay. All right, grabbing lunch here in Averu, kebabs, falafel, stuff like that, $16.90. We just did a quick run for dinner and breakfast. We don't eat a lot for breakfast, so quick run for breakfast. And then we had a lot for lunch today, so 
probably eating in tonight for dinner. A little over 20 euros. Agua Pedras and a playground. Valencia's in there somewhere. Okay, morning coffee run at Porto do Cafe. It was $4.90 for a latte and a batch of room. The Airbnb was booked before logging, but as you can see, beautiful view and great location. I took Sia to a nearby cafe while Kaylee finished getting ready and caught up with us for some snacks and coffee. Okay, we went to this cute little bakery. We had two coffees, a water, two croissants, and a cinnamon roll for $11.50. A friend recommended this restaurant as it's known for its traditional Portuguese food. The servers were very nice and accommodating with Sia, especially as it got busy. All right, I had to make a quick coffee run today. Uh, so this morning it was 6.10, I got two coffees, but I had to get a pastel de nata for Sia. She's eating it right now. She's a funny one though. She likes to eat the middle out of the pastel de nata. Sometimes leaves the crust, other times we'll eat the crust. I gotta get her cleaned up. Oh my gosh, it looks like we are always eating. All right, time to have a snack with Sia. This sucker was 180 for a hazelnut muffin. It's big. 180. Sia's face. But then right next door at the market, Josh and I grabbed a snack and drinks before taking Sia to the playground. Okay, it's time to head back to Porto, but first, lunch. Train strike in Portugal, we got a refund on the train that we were supposed to take, and we're actually taking an earlier one but it's not as nice. However, it's much cheaper. We had Way first cheaper. Class. Yeah, we had first class for the other ones, that round trip uh, train ticket that we had. So 355 euro each. And now we're gonna head in for a coffee or something? Yeah, while we wait for the train. But again, it, we're actually able to leave earlier because we figured we should check just to see with all the train strikes if ours was actually canceled, and it is. So that's good that we checked or else we'd be leaving way later. So we get back earlier. Two super bar, me and Kaylee. She is asleep. Where is she? Yeah, she's asleep, so she doesn't get anything. The trains look more like a metro here, but there are comfortable style trains for this route as well. It's a Monday morning after we got back from our trip to Aveiro, so everyone's a little slow this morning. We have to take a car to school, otherwise Lindsay is going to be super late. Kaylee forgot a few items, so here I am picking them up. I wish you'd have ordered these online. Okay, just outside of my dentist here. Uh, we started about 10 or 15 minutes late, but uh, overall it was 30 minutes. I had my teeth clean. I had an x-ray. It's been two years since I've had an x-ray done, so I had that done. And then also had to have like a filling redone. So total was 130. Back at Stadio do Dragão again to watch Porto. This time it's for the Champions League, which the group games are part of our season tickets. But for the later stages, we pay a discounted rate for our seats. So the game and waters today. We do love our so coffee. So here we are back at it again. Okay, I am heading to pick up Sia from school and we are going to Jumpers with some friends. Valencia loves the trampoline park, so we're back here with friends. They have a specific toddler section with slides, balls, and more. It's very age appropriate. They also have good stuff for older kids and kids at heart. Video! It's a video! 11 euro for two pairs of socks and jumping for Sia. All right, Kaylee and I are gonna to go to Bon Successo. We're gonna take Maria, our part-time video editor, out for lunch to just thank her for all the great work that she's done. Instead of taking the bus or the metro, we're gonna just grab a, a Bolt, and it's actually just about the same price as if both of us ride. 
uh, on the metro or bus. So that's normally like 130 a person. And what's the car? 280? 294. 294. So it makes sense to, to just be door to door with Bolt. Bolus Asesu is an indoor market with over 40 shops and restaurants. It has quite a variety of food and is a nice place to grab a meal. Sia has a special thing at school today, so we have to take a car. It is $2.98 on um, Bolt. Let's go! Yeah. That's right. You're going to school. I am heading to Starbucks to meet with some friends. I'll probably just get a grande latte. Okay, yesterday, C and I got stuck in the rain on her way home from school walking, so to avoid that today, because it's raining off and on, I'm gonna take a car there to pick her up and then a car to come home. Picked up from school? Yeah! It's St. Patrick's Day, so we're out with friends at an Irish pub for drinks and dinner. How do you pluralize Guinness? Guinness side. Guinness. Just the, just the Guinness, you guys. Just the Guinness. Cheers. Savage. Complete savage. Round two. We had a great time tonight. Uh, three Guinnesses apiece, two burgers, pimento padron, and some fries for Sia. We paid 65, it should have been 61.50, but we went ahead and tipped a little bit. Not bad. Okay, the weather isn't great, so we're at an indoor playground with Sia. We grabbed a snack and a coffee at Starbucks. All right, we got the pay-per-view for the UFC fights. It's in London, so the timing is much better than some of the other ones. So we decided to have a friend over and watch the fights, $27. Another Metro top up for me, 13 euros to top up my card and get another 10 rides, plus one. Yep. We like ordering groceries online, but sometimes we don't need that much. So here we are popping into the Pingo Dose for a grocery run. It was 61.44. This morning early, I had to go meet a contractor over at the property we're looking to buy. So I need to take Sia to school using a car instead of the stroller. All right, Sia's dropped off and that was 228. Okay, so every two weeks, uh, some expat guys and I get together and we have lunch, so I'm headed to that. This time it's in Via Catalina Mall and uh, I don't know what I'm gonna eat yet, but I'm gonna go grab some lunch with them. Via Catarina is a mall on Santa Catarina. There's a grocery store, plenty of shops, and a food court. You get a lot of variety at the food court here, and a typical meal costs between 750 and 15 euros. Kaylee was at home and asked me to pick up a dessert at a Geronimo that had recently opened near us. Geronimo is kind of like Portugal Starbucks, and fun fact, it's owned by the same company as Pinga Dos. 740. Brownie, coffee, and chocolate cake. What do you think? I'm excited to try. All right, I just had dinner and drinks with a friend. We split the bill. I ate a little more and drank a little more. So my portion was 42.15. Unilabs is a big chain around Portugal for getting medical lab work and tests done. I've got to get some exams done as a part of an annual physical. One of them I have to pay for, the rest of them are free. So I'm going to get these done and get out of here. I am off running errands. Sia has a craft at school, so I have to find something for that. I'm on the hunt for mini maps. Now I am heading to the vet. Pincho has a special diet, so we have to get his food from there. And then also we give him a supplement for his knees. He's old. And we've seen a little bit of inflammation in his paw, so we have to pick up some stuff for that. So just heading to the vet to, to get that stuff for him. $42.50 for all of Pincho's goodies. And I'm still on the hunt for mini mouse. Success, not exactly what I was looking for, but it'll do for the craft. And I have Mickey and Minnie. Last stand of the day, I think. 
I had to stop into a pet shop to pick up some things for Pincho, and that was just under 20 euro. Josh and I decided to grab a snack and coffee while waiting for Pincho to get groomed. It's easier to stay nearby, so we brought our computers and sat in this place that sells motorcycles but also is a cafe. Is it? I think it's fine. <laughs> Just took Pincho to the groomer. Nice fresh haircut, 36 euros. By the time Pincho was done, we wanted another snack. So we stopped for something sweet and more coffee. Mm. It's good. Pincho wants some. <laughs> Two coffees and a piece of cake. It was a piece of cake. Uh, 3.90. It's time for another meetup, two in 30 days. So we're in a car on our way to Scoundrels Distilling. Again, check our social media for updates on these or email us to join our newsletter. Grabbing coffee at Starbucks with a friend. Too much Starbucks. <laughs> another semi-small grocery run before we leave town for a bit. There's a great park in Porto called Covello where there's a playground and a little cafe inside the playground. So we met friends here for the kids to play and the adults to snack and drink. It's really common to find little kiosks, as they're called here, or cafes inside of parks. Kaylee doing math is funny. <laughs> no, no, don't do that to me. I am taking Sia to school in a car this morning. We're running a little bit behind, probably because of the time change. We went to a really cool outside bar that Kaylee and I love to go to called Base near Kledigos Tower to grab some drinks with a viewer who bought a place nearby. After those drinks, we went to dinner with friends. We had Portuguese food and they were so kind to Valencia because they made her scrambled eggs, which weren't technically on the menu, but that's what she was asking for, so they made them. All right, so we've shown you every single cent that we spent. Now it's time to total it up. We don't actually know the totals. Let's talk about it. So we spend a lot of money on coffee and food and drink out, I'm noticing. And are you embarrassed by that? Because a lot of that is you. <laughs> I'm not. That's how I live my life. That's all right. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> All right, we totaled everything up by category, which you'll see right here. We don't know the grand total yet. It is gonna be a surprise to us. I haven't even tried to do mental math on this. Let's check it out. Oof. That is kinda high. Uh, 3,617 and 72 cents. A little high. No, 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 definitely high. Like, I think it's, well, I think it's like a thousand too high. Oh, I think that 3000 is a realistic Three, budget. 3000 is a realistic budget. I think it could be done on 2500 Yeah. But, but you'd have to hold back. Family of three with a pet in the heart of Porto, I think 3000 is good. This is a little high. Now, I will say this. Pincho had some higher bills in this 30 days than normal, like with vet stuff and grooming, because that stuff doesn't happen every 30 days. Yeah. So that kind of ebbs and flows. So that was a little higher this time. Our insurance is also kind of high. We've talked about, yes. you know, we have private insurance and we could drop that down because we use the public system a lot. So that could be dropped down. So that's a little high. And we don't have dental coverage. And I had quite a bit of dental work done or at least expensive dental work done, considering that I think it might cost around 10 to 15 bucks a month to add that. Um, right, but we don't do we it don't that use often. It very often. So yeah, so what's the point? So some things were yeah. higher, but obviously that stuff kind of flows in and out. So I think that we could probably range between 2500 and 3500 giving a middle range of 3000 being a realistic budget. Yeah, for as much as we ate out, I was surprised that our grocery bill was almost 400 uh, And then I think we just ate out too much. We spent an, a, just an incredible amount on eating out. Yeah. We got to cut back on that. <laughs> at least like this month, we went and ate out at some expensive places as well. Yeah. like We, we weren't eating traditional Portuguese food. That's a big difference. That's a big price difference. Yeah. Could be double, could be triple uh, what you would normally pay at a Portuguese restaurant if you go eat something that is, is not Portuguese really. So it's definitely gone up from last year's. If you want to check out that video, how much we spent last year, click on this video right here and you can see the difference. Now, let's get moving. Bye. Bye.